Yo, Sonny V2. He's back with his face back with another little shorter one. This is only like eight minutes. Only like eight women. Only like eight minutes. But it's also not a downfall video. Well, I mean, to my to my to my knowledge, it's not a down, but it's not a downfall video. We got the rapper who got a twenty dollar and Frank face tattoo. Who I I actually actually now that I think about it, I kind of I remember seeing that image. I I I remember seeing this image right here. This and this dude with his and Frank image right there. So. I never, I, I don't think I ever listened to a single song by this motherfucker. I don't think I ever listened to a single song by this motherfucker. But, let's see what Sonny B2 got to tell us about. The Anne Frank face tattoo first went viral back in 2017. Articles provided only a brief description I remember seeing this all of the person like wild and stuff. enough to do it. So we lined up a full interview with the rapper to get the full story of the oh, Anne wow. Frank face tattoo. When the idea first came about, Arnold is Dead had recently dropped out of college. So then I tried the college thing. I tried. I, I, didn't, I didn't make it past the first semester. And was couch surfing around Los Angeles by creating free music for any artist who'd let him stay over. What? But around the same time, Arnold began to notice the rise of the SoundCloud rap genre. He had the smoke perps, the little pumps, the ski. Damn, look at him still looking stupid as fuck with that goddamn Anne Frank tattoo just plastered right on his face, looking stupid. Masses, this is the stupid. X -X -X After which he began to emulate that kind of lifestyle. However, there was one thing he was missing which characterized almost every artist from that era. Face, face tattoos. Co had gotten the Mona Lisa on his neck. Blueface had gotten Benjamin Franklin on his cheek. Yet Arnold is Dead was looking to make an even bigger statement. As a college dropout with no permanent residence, Arnold didn't have the best relationship with his family. Your mom kicks you out of the house. She thinks you're a piece of shit. Your dad doesn't. He thinks you're a piece of shit. None of your siblings talk to you. Which not only led to a problem with substances, but also a bout of deep depression. Got to the point when when you're young and you're under, you know what I'm saying, the influence, you're not making the clearest of this. Yeah, that was the Zandemic, all right. That, that, he, he definitely was, he just definitely was going through the Zandemic. So people were not thinking straight at all for like three years straight, two, three years straight. Nobody was thinking straight. And then Lil Peep died and they were like, wait, man, maybe I should like chill out on these. And I, I haven't really heard of anything, anybody dying from Zan since Lil Peep. Decisions. You're not. You know, that was the it's, it's a really dark place. It was at this point that Arnold realized he wanted a permanent reminder that someone else always had it worse than him. And as a result, he chose a portrait Bruh. of someone who'd had it worse than everybody else. Later stating in an interview with The Sun, there are people in history that didn't have the power to control, to actually do things they wanted to do with their lives, to be stuck in a house and end up dying. Dude, I'm dying to make music. That's the way I look at it. It's very black and white. Recognized as one of the world's most famous tragedies, Arnold became certain that he wanted Anne Frank on his face. So then, the eureka light bulb moment where I thought I was gonna blast it on my face so it could be like a reminder where I was like, whenever you feel down and bad, bro, like, on Anne Frank, bro. Like, it was like a, like a, like a, Thing for me. Although instead of going to a professional tattoo studio, uh, he instead opted for a much riskier location. I go to my friend that was living in Pomona. His name's Ryan. I love this kid. His brother does tattoos out the house. And, uh, yeah, I run to Ryan's brother's house and I tell him about my genius plan. He's like, so how much money do you have? And I was like, 20 bucks. <laughs> Bro, deal. <laughs> wow. On wow. the 20th of August, 2017. It didn't, for a $20 tattoo, it didn't turn out terrible. But it's just still so stupid. But knowing his deep reasoning behind it, it's like, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. But it's so big and it's so stupid. It's just so dumb. Who, why, like why? For a home job price of $20, the Anne Frank face tattoo was finished, prompting an instant response from those who knew him. Can someone tell me why Teddy got a tattoo of Anne Frank big as on his face? Why? With many others echoing a similar sentiment. This is so irresponsible and frankly, I do not approve. How ignorant Tuh. do people gotta get for attention now? While others Facts. make the argument that everybody should be allowed to make their own choices. I mean, you didn't do it, so why do you care what other people do. That's just hating. If you don't like it, you don't have to respond. Despite this initial burst of public attention, Arnold maintained that he had an orchestra. Nah, nah. Calling someone out for doing some stupid shit is not just hating. You can call people out for doing stupid shit. A hundred, no, that's, that's just, criticism is good. People deserve criticism. 
You should be criticized. People should speak their mind about, yeah, no, that's not true at all. You're not a hater if you tell the nigga that got a Anne Frank face tattoo that he's stupid. If you tell a dude that got an Anne Frank face tattoo that he's stupid, you're just telling him the truth, which more people around him probably should have done because he got a goddamn Anne Frank face tattoo, which is pretty stupid. If my homie came up to me, any of them, and told me that, hey, bro, especially if he was Zando, came up, hey, bro, I'm going to get Anne Frank tattooed on my face. I'm like, what? What the, what the fuck you talking about, gang? What the, what, what the fuck you talking about? He's like, hold on, I'm going to get it this big. And he fuck covers his whole face and then some down to the neck. I'm going to say, you're stupid as fuck. You're, you're, you're pretty, no, you're not doing that. You're stupid. Don't do that. Uh, those are the type of people you need in your goddamn life. Illustrated <laughs> this to go viral. Uh. I didn't think this was gonna be a viral thing, bro. I was moving off my like heart. It wasn't a try to be like a viral thing. Sure, I was really into tattoos. Sure. I wanted to always be completely tattooed, inked up head to toe. You see what I'm saying? Yet the uniqueness of the piece certainly helped to expand his network, becoming closely acquainted with XXX Tentacion and others. Start working with Ski Mask. I start working with Trippy Red. I start working with Warhols. I start working Still with Still never Bennett, heard of Which eventually led to his now infamous meetup with the one and only Lil Xan. Arnold explained that he met Lil Xan while hanging out backstage at a festival. And we see that Lil Xan's there, so I just introduced myself. We're just hanging out, we're chilling, we're smoking. Still never Lil Xan saw the tattoo and gave him a funny nickname. We're just shooting jokes and he was like, this is like Xan Frank, like this is, this is wild. This on its own wasn't anything interesting. <laughs> However, when somebody from the media began talking to the two, their evening took an unexpected turn. Hey yo Lil Xan, who you hanging out with? Yo, this is my boy Xan Frank. That's it, the internet broke. That was it. <laughs> All the photos that went viral and to memes and everything came from them taking pictures. Facts though, because 2017 was Zan this, Zan that, Lil that, Lil this, Lil Zan this, bro. There were Lean that, Oxy this, bro. There were some wild names coming out. There were some wild names that coming out in that time. Like they, were, they were just capturing that exact moment. Rapper gets tattoo of Anne Frank on his face because he's dying for his music. Arnold Gutierrez, who goes by the name Zan Frank and Arnold is dead, stunned rap fans with a huge inking of the Jewish diarist. Articles such as this one helped Arnold's social media to explode. After that, I wake up the next day and I have like 15K followers and the whole internet just Bruh. wrecking my shit. <laughs> with the virality of the situation, and then leading to an Instagram post by Lil Xan announcing that Arnold was the new third member of Xanarchy. The post was amplified further when Adam22 reposted the image to his Twitter with the Ta caption Mood and Frank Face Tattoo before getting Arnold in a no jumper video titled He Got an Anne Frank Face Tattoo. This is the legend this is the that everybody's man. been talking about. Yeah, Anne Frank no. <laughs> Give me your version of Bruh, this was the quite the era. Tattoo. This was quite the era of no jumper, bro. The uh, this is when I first found him was the sound. It, I, I was I was just looking up Lil Yachty clips or some shit like that, and then No Jumper had a at it was either on the No Jumper page or they had a Twenty Two page. One of them, they had a interview. I mean, they not, it wasn't even an interview. It was just a vlog with Lil Yachty in it. I was like, oh shit, what's this? I've been I've been like slowly. I I like trickled watched him throughout the years, and then like. Three, four years ago, I just started watching them like damn near like every fucking day. Let's hear it. What, what, what's my version? I don't know. Let's hear your version. Uh, I don't got a version, dog. Oh, well, Zan no, Frank, the dog. Zanarchy. was wild. That's what, is that what inspired it? <laughs> well, no, I'm at Zanarchy all day. Okay. Despite this, Arnold explained that people often didn't recognize who it was in the image. I get funny ones like, uh, is that your daughter? Is that your mom? Is that huh. your girlfriend? And then I'm like, it's Anne Frank. Some people don't know who Anne Frank is. <laughs> Which is surprising as Facts, a now deleted though. Reddit post of the tattoo received 4.8k upvotes on the ATBGE subreddit, which is a space dedicated to awful taste but great execution for everything that displays quality craftsmanship in the least elegant way possible. Not a bad compliment for- That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I was saying. That's that's that sums up exactly what I thought about the tattoo and his and his reasoning for the job. tattoo. Others on the post expressed concern over his future employment prospects. Unemployability. Yet the reply suggested that he might qualify for some niche roles, stating, "Tell that to the HR department at the Holocaust Museum, as well as standing at the exit offering pictures with his face, might be the best bet for a career." What the internet thought wasn't of interest to Arnold anyway, as he only cared about the opinion of one specific person. The only persons 
reaction is my mother's. She looked at me, bro. And she was like, oh, you're still my son, bro. I don't, I don't see that. Like nothing, nothing changed. And if anything, the situation helped. If my son came up to me with a motherfucking Anne Frank tattoo. Yeah, I guess he's still my son, but he gonna catch. I'm, I'm gonna try and slap that bitch off real quick. I'll tell you that much. take care of his family, given he was now being presented with new opportunities, which he previously hadn't had access to. Hey, that now I had an opportunity to be able to walk into rooms that I wouldn't be able to walk into. Like I said, it wasn't the intention, but the fact that it happened like that, that's what made it 10 times better. One such instance was a meeting with a top executive at Republic Records, who turned out to be Jewish, but found Ta. the piece to be quite endearing. We took him to a meeting at Republic. Clearly, you know, she's like, shout out the, the Jewish people. Yeah, she was Jewish. <laughs> and Frank, she was about to cry. Yeah, she was. Arnold then gave a description of that day in his own words. She comes from a Jewish background and she's one of the big label execs. Like she brings a lot of big artists there. You could Google her and she has a really big background in that. And we really had a heart to heart. Also adding that most people are polite in real life and have no problems with the piece outside of the internet. I've never even had someone like use it as an insult. The only thing I've seen is like comments online and like people just bashing it. At around the same time, Arnold also got a Zanarchy tattoo on his neck, which is both strange and unfortunate, as he never even joined the crew officially, and the relationship between Arnold and Lil Xan came to an end only three months after their first meeting. He's like not really part of Xanarchy no more. Really? Yeah, he's part yeah, of damn. like uh, very, like, very, 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 Oh, okay. It's cool yeah, at all, but yeah, it's yeah, cool. It's like, we cool with them, but yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, he's was it the Anne Frank face tattoo that was too much? No. Arnold then explained that he was removed from Xanarchy after the group's management told him this. I had gotten kicked out from the group because they said I was like a bad influence to Lil Xan because what? I was like partying really hard. Which is interesting as Damn. Arnold has cleaned up his act quite significantly Damn. since getting the tattoo. I mean, so let Lil Xan clean up now too, but Lil Xan was getting drugged the hell out. For like until like very recently, for the first time, until like a yeah, year ago at least, now, after having a year and a half, after maybe cleaning up and stuff like that. You know, I haven't taken Zans in a long time. Probably been like almost two years now. I'm not gonna continue doing Xanax, and I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Gonna push that agenda. I don't think that's cool. Within the last month, Arnold did a photo shoot with the up and coming Jewish rapper B.O.P. Oh, Kosher, who was recently interviewed by Nardwa, also getting a small feature in his Special K music video during the line "I'ma pass the blunt to Anne Frank." I I'm didn't even realize that dude what i didn't even realize Arnold has that also recently rebranded to la pension just which is spanish that. for dj child support Go check that combining out. his old skill of producing music with his love for latin culture ultimately hoping to spread a positive message instead of like pushing this whole agenda that everybody was following as a trend with uh the drugs and all that stuff let's, let's make people dance enjoy life feel good about themselves there are literally Shit. hundreds of I missed it. The Anne Frank face. I missed it. I missed the pause, gang. But, bro, I just, it's, it's, I, I still just, I still think exactly what that Reddit post said, dude. Like, good thought, I guess, but like, horrible and like, horrible. What, what, what did that Reddit thing say again? Let me see. Let me see what that Reddit thing said. Was it back here? Was it? Oh, it was right here. Awful taste, but great execution. Like, the taste is just horrible. The thought of it is like everything that is okay, though. Like, it's the, the reasoning behind it is like, eh, I, I guess. I guess you kind of got your reason. I don't know, though. It still seems pretty fucking stupid to me. No jobs, zero jobs. Let me know what y'all think about it.